Hello everyone, this is Dr. Satish S. Bonare, Department of Genetics and Plant Breeding, Kekewa College of Agriculture, Nasi. Today, we are going to learn the topic Natural Resources and its Classification. So friends, any material which is required or used to sustain the life or livelihood of an organism is called as resources. And these natural resources are those living and non-living materials and the factors of the nature which are being drawn upon for supporting life and meet human requirements. In the diagram, we can see the different resources or natural resources present in the nature such as water, oil, forest, rocks, minerals, soils and animals. So in nutshells, the different resources which are present in the nature are called as natural resources. And these natural resources is classified first on the basis of availability and renewability. These natural resources are classified as exhausting means depleting means when we use it going to deplete and next and other is inexhaustible that means they are never ending or non depleting natural resources in exhaustible type of natural resources there are two types renewable and non renewable and these non renewable are again divided into two types that is recyclable and non recyclable while these inexhaustible natural resources are again divided into two types that is immutable and mutable this is just the overview we can see or we are now see later on the details of this classification so according to the first criteria that is basis of availability or renewability the natural resources are classified like this the second criteria is on the basis of origin these natural resources are categorized as biotic natural resources and abiotic natural resources so these are the two major criteria on that the natural resources are divided now we see in detail the what the basis and what actually these resources are divided on basis first one is exhaustible resources so these exhaustible resources means these resources are going to be depleted once we use it and these exhaustible resources or natural resources are again divided into two types as we see earlier renewable and non-renewable in renewable resources these renewable resources or renewable natural resources are resources that can be replenished by a rapid natural cycle or rapid natural processes for example, forest, wildlife, soil fertility and biological products. These are the all resources which are repleted or replenished by a natural process. On the other hand, non-renewable resources are those resources that cannot be replenished through natural cycle. And these resources are again divided into two types. That is recyclable and non-recyclable. The recyclable non-renewable resources can be collected after use and can be recycled. For example, the non-energy resources such as ores, oils, ores and minerals. Why? The non-recyclable non-renewable resources cannot be recycled anyway once we use it. For example, energy resources such as petroleum or all energy resources. When we use it, they cannot be recycled anyway. So these are the first criteria, exhaustible resources and according to this, the, the classification is done. Classification is done. Next criteria is inexhaustible resources. That means these resources are never ending or they are not depleted.